Now we're getting busy in the garden again. Getting ready to uh, get my seed potatoes ready. And I thought I'd give you a little demo on how I do that. You could buy certified seed potatoes. You know, at your uh, gardening store. They're a little pricey. This will probably be the last year that we will be buying potatoes at the supermarket to use as seed since the new GMO potatoes will be out next year. So I thought I'd get this going. So you're going to want a knife that you're comfortable with. And you're going to want some sulfur powder. Some brimstone right here. This is going to um, preserve the potatoes long enough for them to be able to grow out of the soil before any fungi or mold attack them and eat them all up. So this is how we're going to do it. Typically you get a potato, get a little eyes on it. Each one of those eyes is a potential potato plant. And you're going to inspect it for any rotten spots. This wound right here. We're going to get rid of that wound first. And then we're going to dissect this potato into a couple pieces. And each piece will make a potato plant. So first we're going to cut the wound off. We're going to take this wound dip it in the sulfur powder, see? Just like that. So, let's see, best way. Let's see, I got... One. There's one potato starter. Just gonna get some sulfur powder all over it. Just like that. There's a little start right there. That's gonna prevent the fungus. So I'm eating them all up, gobbling them all up before we can grow them. I'm going to just put it out here to dry. And it looks like this one we could probably get uh, two more plants out of. Let me carefully cut it. I'm going to take my two potato starters and roll them in the brimstone, the sulfur again. We're going to do this with all of our potatoes. So from one potato, I just made three potato starter plants. Isn't that awesome? So I'll set them out to dry. Uh, we got the, the Yukon Golds. Doing the Red Creamers. Everybody likes uh, baked potatoes, so we got the russets here. Then over here off to the side, oh, I got a mixed bag. And these little blue ones, I really dig these. They got a nice flavor, cool color keep the kids excited and these little ones right here we could cut them into starters there's plenty of eyes on there as long as each piece you cut has a few eyes so I'm gonna get busy doing this I think I'm gonna do the Yukon Golds first Now it's uh, kind of important that after you take these out, you let them dry a little bit. Because if you don't, the wound you just made on the potato hasn't had enough time to heal and crust over with the sulfur, with the brimstone powder. So it's pretty important that you let them dry for a little bit. Try not to let them dry in the direct sun. Cool, shady place for the day is good. Uh, there's lots of different ways to plant potatoes. You can grow them in a bucket, you can grow them in a compost pile. You can plant them really deep and let them grow up through that and get more potatoes. But the most popular way in the United States is uh, row planting. So we're going to plant these in rows, not hills. And when the plants come out, we will hill plants. I think these Yukon Golds with these purple sprouts are really cool. I don't know what the flowers are going to look like on them. 
that we've gotten them all divided and pressed into the sulfur on the cut edges especially. I'm going to let them dry for a couple hours. Usually I'd let them dry overnight, but we are supposed to be getting rain today. Doesn't look like we're going to get rain, but it could happen. We were going to be planting them right here. I think we're going to plant some watermelons there this year. And where our corn was at last year, right here, this is where we're going to plant the potatoes. That's room. You know, a lot of people, uh, they dog on me for wanting to plant the potatoes. Oh, you can buy them in the store. They're just so cheap. Well, you should plant what you enjoy eating. And we enjoy potatoes at this house. And for a bushcraft survival standpoint, most people do not recognize a potato plant for what it is. So, hey, practice what we preach. Oh, and these... All dry, hopefully by this afternoon. We'll get them planted. We're gonna row plant. That's how you do it. Just like that. Hope you guys enjoy this brief little video on seed potatoes. My wife gets a lot of people coming into her store looking for seeds to grow potatoes and she has a hard time explaining to them that they do not actually come in seeds. They are just little potatoes. But in this point in case, we're actually subdividing the potatoes to clone them so we can get more than one plant out of each tuba. Like potatoes, grow them. If you got a mold problem or a fungus problem in your yard, you're going to need the brimstone of the sulfur powder. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll be back to you. Peace.